Climate change has a disproportionate impact on the poor and the vulnerable. And we know that of the 700 million people who live in absolute poverty today, many of them are women and the children that those women take care of. Hi, my name is Rachel Kite and I'm the Special Envoy for Climate Change at the World Bank Group. Climate resilience is the idea that as climate change impacts begin to be felt, we will have to be able to be resilient to those impacts. So for extreme weather events, we will need to be able to withstand them and to bounce back better after they have passed. Climate resilience can mean being able to access the seed quickly that you will need to plant, a seed that will be able to withstand heat, drought, different growing periods, maybe different quality of soil as a result of the changing climate. It's important to put women at the centre of the problem. Women's reproductive health and their ability to control their own bodies, their ability to choose how many children they have and when, will be absolutely fundamental to building the kinds of populations that will be able to be resilient to climate change. The climate resilience that we need going forward has to be one which offers opportunity for, uh, for all people and protects all people. And we have a growing population, uh, a growing population uh, which is becoming more vulnerable in many places because of its migratory pattern. People are moving from, from the uh, countryside to cities in search of economic opportunity. They're often living informally in informal settlements and the edges of very large cities with no ways to protect them. That growing population is going to be part of the opportunity. That's where the solutions will come from, but it is also putting more people in harm's way as climate change begins to have its impacts.